Here we are with the Specac Mini Press pellet kit. We've pre-prepared KBR powder and stearic acid crystals as the sample. Uh, they're pre-weighed in a ratio of about 100 to 1, which is the recommended starting point. We use the pestle and mortar to grind them into a homogeneous mixture. We don't want to grind them too much or for too long because that opens up the crystal facets of the KBR powder to moisture and we'll be showing up in our spectra. So just gentle grinding for a few minutes to mix them together into a thoroughly homogeneous mixture. When we're done with that, we assemble the pellet die, which consists of three parts. There's a lower anvil, which is identifiable from its recessed underside. There's a top anvil and there's a ring holder. So we place the ring holder on the bottom anvil. And then we use a spatula to transfer a small amount of sample onto the top of the, the ring holder like so. And we need enough just to fill up the, the recess there. And we can smooth it down using the spatula and wipe away any excess material. And then gently rest the top anvil in place like so. Now we transfer everything to the press. We turn the lead screw counterclockwise to create space. Gently maneuver the pellet die into position. Tighten down the lead screw to hand tight. Then we use the screw on the front to apply a load of two tons, rotating the screw clockwise to increase the load. And then we wait a few seconds. When we're ready, we can relax the load by turning the handle counterclockwise. The load comes back down to zero. We can relieve any remaining pressure using the lead screw and gently remove the pellet die assembly from the press. With a slight twisting action, we can remove the top anvil and we should find the sample captured in the ring holder. We can then add this to the 3x2 slide mount provided with the kit, using these O-rings to just secure it in place, and then transfer it over to our spectrometer and fit it using the slide mount apparatus there. We want to remove the sample from the ring holder, we provide a plastic ring for that purpose. This sits on top of the pellet die as shown. We're actually using the top part of the pellet die here because the, the anvil is longer. So we rest the sample on top of that anvil and we use the plastic extractor cap to apply pressure to the ring only and force the pellet out through like so. The intact KBR pellets can now be saved or used for any further purpose and the ring die holder and anvil parts can be cleaned ready to be used again for the next KBR sample pressing.